ASMR cryptids, conspiracies, and chaos. Hi everyone, I'm Bishop, and welcome to my channel. If you have stumbled your way here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. My channel is one of the ASMR variety, but I decided for the series that I've wanted to embark on that I would talk about the weird things that interest me. The say some are cryptids, conspiracy, and chaos will be a thing. I will list down below where I've sourced my information from if you are also a curious creature. This episode, I will go over the Navajo Native American legend of the Skinwalker. Per the University of Wikipedia, the Skinwalker is a harmful witch that has the ability to disguise themselves as an animal. And as you will later find out in this episode, also people. While community healers are known as medicine men and women, in order to practice their good works, they must learn both good and bad magic. Makes sense, right? You can't heal somebody from evil magic if you don't know what they did to cause it. Most of the practitioners can handle this, but some become swayed and decide to become witches. Come to the dark side, we have cookies. Animals associated with witchcraft are usually those of the mischievous variety, the tricksters, if you will. So you have you know, your your fox, your your crows, your your owls, you have other smaller animals like marmots and gophers and stuff, but pretty commonly you hear of bipedal coatis. But I have listened to a couple of stories here and there where the skinwalker is a man bear or a wolf man combination, but it all depends on the skinwalker's preferred form. Eventually skinwalkers choose a preferred form provided they know what the animal looks like in question. Since the skinwalker is a shapeshifter, the more often they change into this animal, the quicker and more fluid the transition is. Practice makes perfect. Seems like a lot of work. Why go through it all? Preferred forms could be really beneficial to the skinwalker in human form because they could retain the skills and strengths of the animal while in human form. As an example, they may have a heightened sense of smell if their preferred form is canine. Hello, Jacob Black from Twilight. Or the strength of a bear. The man-bear combination form um, as a preferred form isn't just seen in Skinwalker Native American legend. It's also seen in Norse mythology with the Berserker. So to Hamar is to go berserk was to Hamask, which translates to change form or to enter a fury-like state. <laughs> Some people believe that they dosed up on magic mushrooms and would run around naked with swords and axes and stuff. Makes for a worthy opponent. But other scholars have interpreted those who could translate or go berserk as humrammer or shape strong. Literally shape shift into a bear. But I digress. Let's get back to the topic. As author and anthropologist Clyde Cochon noted in his 1944 book, uh, Navajo Witchcraft, some skinwalkers would acquire fees 
from grave robbing, while others would get them from fee splitting. So how they would do this is they would have one witch curse an unsuspecting victim, and then they that cursed individual or the victim would go to another skinwalker, but in human form, and that person would cure them, and the two witches would split the difference. As I hinted earlier, they hang out around grave sites. And other than for monetary gain, you might be thinking, I wonder if they're doing anything fishy there besides the monetary gain. That's where you would be absolutely correct. Um, it is said that they hang around grave sites so that they can also make what's called a corpse powder. Corpse powder is a substance that if the skinwalker were to blow it into a victim's face, they would become paralyzed or suffer a heart attack just out of pure fear. Doesn't sound like a great old time. Need of sprinkly dead people. Okay. So, killing you dead is kind of bad. But that's not the worst of it. If they kill you and get possession of your body, you could become their next preferred form. Scary, isn't it? Face stealing. All I could think of is uh, Avatar the Next Airbender, the co, that um, would steal people's faces over centuries. Things to mention. They can't come into dwellings or places of living. They have to be invited. So you'll hear a lot of stories of them running up onto campsites and shaking um, the cabin that the person is staying in or shaking the camper that the person is staying in and they're trying to scare the person within the camp. And I, as much as they do this and they're tricksters, I honestly think they're trying to do this so that it makes the victim an easy pickings kind of type deal. If they can't come in and come get you, they gotta get you outside somehow. So maybe scare the dickens out of you so that you run out of the place. Some stories relate the skinwalker to the European werewolf where it could be killed with silver bullets or bullets dipped in white ash. The problem with this theory that I have found is that the skinwalker inevitably escapes because um, they, they think it's dead and they'll stuff it in a basement or a closet or something and leave it there and then they'll come back and it's miraculously gone. Um, one thing that I have read in a bunch of areas is that if you actually want to kill a skinwalker, you have to call it out by its pre-skinwalker name. Kevin Wendell Crumb, anyone? The last thing I'm going to touch upon is going to be very brief um, as far as skinwalkers are concerned because this topic actually deserves to be its own episode just because of how much goes and, in, and is involved in this place. And it's called the Skinwalker Ranch. It's in Ballard, Texas. It's very well protected, so I do not recommend you go and visit it. Um, but it's a hotbed for paranormal activity. Um, not just skinwalkers. Go figure. But that is a story for another time. I hope you have an enjoyable rest of your day. Please give yourself some love and appreciation because you deserve it. If there is a story of a cryptid, conspiracy, or general chaos that you would like to hear about, leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you and come again.